Over the course of the next few minutes, I'll be showing you how businesses can achieve their strategic objectives by using Appian's Unified Complete Workflow Automation Loco platform, covering the full cycle from discovery through design all the way to the automation of workflows. I will be showing this in the example of a brewery that is focusing on optimizing their carbon footprint and on time in full OTIF performance. These are just examples and in fact, these could be any KPI that can be driven from how an organization is operating. This brewery chose to operationalize its continuous improvement initiative on Appian. So let's get started. Since achievement is all about results, let me begin with a view on such actual results from a business perspective. As you can see, among other relevant key performance indicators, this management information dashboard shows how well the brewery is doing in terms of achieving its strategic carbon footprint and OTIF target. The data for this dashboard can be coming from within Appian, a third-party system, or a combination of both, and the dashboard itself can be configured by means of drag-and-drop based low-code development. However, just surfacing KPIs is not going to actually improve how well an organization operates in order to achieve the targets for those KPIs. In our case, the brewery is already operating well when everything is working as planned. However, it was found that whenever there is an unforeseen incident in the brewery's operations, things went amiss and in particular managing such incidents in a way that balances the seemingly contradictory KPIs for CO2 footprint and on time in full was a challenge. Let's take a closer look at how our brewery is using Appian to actually operationalize the measures to achieve its targets. We are beginning with everything in good order. The production line is producing freshly bottled beer and we are now at the last station of the production line where the bottles get labeled and checked out for delivery. An Appian mobile app is supporting any worker, trained or untrained, doing the work effectively. After everything is checked out, Appian is automatically updating that information in the brewery's production planning and inventory management systems, checking if everything is in good order and in case new supplies are needed, automatically placing new orders with suppliers for whatever is needed to brew new beer so that the on-time in full targets can be met. Now, what happens in our instance here is that a supplier came back to us and let us know that they are having an issue with providing us with the goods ordered. So let's take a look at how our brewery uses Appian to manage such issues. I have now changed hats and become part of the supply chain operations team. An Appian issue management application is providing me with a list of all issues that need the attention of the brewery supply chain operations. Opening one of the issues now allows me to review any relevant details regarding the issues. As you can see on the right half of the screen. In our instance, we have ordered 30 tons of malt, but the supplier can only ship 20 tons. Also with a delay of two days to when we actually need it. Just accepting this revised order would affect our on time in full targets, as we can see by going to the production planning details sourced from the brewery's ERP system. Let me go back to the issue management screen. Here on the left half of the screen, we have four options available to deal with the issue. Every option clearly highlights the current implications on the brewery's strategic objectives of meeting the CO2 footprint and on time and full targets. But also, automated business rules took into account the relevant current data points to come up with the specific suggestions for this very issue regarding which option is best for achieving the brewery's strategic objectives. So let's pick the auto-recommended option to request to ship a portion of the required supplies from one of our other production sites. With very few clicks, a request is auto-generated and is being sent to the other site that has sufficient supplies available and is causing the least impact on the CO2 footprint. Just imagine the impact on CO2 footprint and on time in full objectives if the wrong supplies from the wrong site were requested because of a typo. The team on the other brewery site is now going to act upon their procedures to ship the supplies as requested. Now, what we have seen so far is how the brewery is leveraging Appian to operationalize measures to achieve its strategic objectives, 
by guiding people's actions, leveraging automation, and embracing existing enterprise systems effectively. But also, these measures address only a part for managing issues with suppliers. Wouldn't it be nice if it was possible to find out which other areas bear potential for further driving the achievement of the brewery's strategic KPIs? So let's do just that. Let's go back to our management information system and use Appian Process Mining to identify such areas for further improvement. While this could be run from mobile too, let me switch over to a desktop browser which will allow us a denser view of the insights we'll be getting. Appian Process Mining has been loaded with event data coming from several systems, including Appian and the other brewery sites ERP systems. In more detail, this is the data for about 2,000 supplier issues from the past and how it was dealt with. Moving up the filter slider on the right and changing it to show all different paths of how a supplier issue was managed reveals every single way an issue got managed and any related and relevant data like the CO2 emissions involved in that path. Replaying the flow of events of these issue management cases gives us a visual indication of the time-related aspects. Now, zooming in for reviewing the actual events of managing these issues closer, we can identify the issues appearing, the four options for addressing issues, and also the subsequent flow of events gathered from other systems. In our case, the brewery supply chain experts have already derived a target model for how to best deal with supplier issues. The first part is already operationalized to meet the CO2 footprint and on time in full objectives, as we have seen. However, additional areas of the target model may require operationalization. In the target model view, colored icons highlight where actual supplier issue cases did not follow the target model, hence are leaving out business potentials and opportunities. For example, the order for these two events is switched in some cases. This definitely needs to be fixed, but what is a good starting point for fixing this? This is where the automated root cause analysis helps to identify the circumstances that led to instances where the target model is not followed. Moving over to the list of these violations of the target model, where every line represents one of these colored icons that we have seen on the target model, we can now select the violation that we want to investigate on. And by using the automated root cause analysis, we are now able to identify the circumstances that drive violation of the target model. In our instance, the other site location is a 100% indication if the target model is violated or not. By plotting the actual distribution of values for other site location, we can now clearly see that whenever we are requesting supplies from Hamburg or Stuttgart, the target model gets violated. With that information, the brewery may now want to extend the operationalized supplier issue management process into Hamburg and Stuttgart by automatically initiating the right actions in the right order from the Appian system. This concludes my demonstration of how businesses can achieve their strategic objectives by using Appian's unified complete workflow automation low-code platform. If you want to start creating applications like the one we have seen here, scan this QR code, provide your email address, and log into your dedicated Appian system. Thank you for watching.